Hi, I'm Nathan from CordCutting.com, and as happy as I am that you've joined me here today, I wish it were under different circumstances. We gather here today to mourn the loss of one of our own. If you didn't know already, Henry Cavill is being replaced as Geralt of Rivia after The Witcher's third season, which premiered on Netflix on June 29th. I say one of our own because Cavill, like many Witcher fans, is a huge nerd. He's a fan of the original The Witcher novels, in addition to being a confirmed Warhammer 40k player, and I think it's because of his fandom that he gives us such a believable rendition of Geralt. He doesn't treat his role on the show as just a job. It's a labor of love because he's portraying a character that he himself is a fan of. Replacing an actor who is a fan of the character and who portrays that character accurately and believably feels like a slap in the face to that actor and to fans of the show who have done nothing but praise his performance. It has been rumored that the show's writers don't share Cavill's reverence for the source material, and that mismatch in passion has been causing friction that is at the heart of Cavill's replacement. Based on the numerous changes we've been <clears throat> treated to in the last two seasons, and the hackneyed attempt at a prequel miniseries, The Witcher Blood Origin, it's easy to assume that the writers aren't in step with what longtime Witcher fans are looking for, and instead are focusing on providing their own spin on the established characters and storyline. I try not to view Cavill's replacement as Geralt as a misstep, and not as a harbinger of things to come. I worry that in losing Cavill, fans will have lost their final advocate in the writer's room. His departure makes it easy for a more cynical critic to decry the Witcher series and its spin-offs as a blatant cash grab, capitalizing on the increasing popularity of all things nerd culture. At the point where you have the writer's room actively altering the source material, it's hard to trust them to take care of your favorite characters, stories, and dynamics. It is on that note that I say, Henry, we will miss you. Thank you for your dedication to the stories and characters fans so fervently love. Thank you for advocating for us nerds. I can't wait to see your Warhammer 40k series, and I think we all hope that it stays more true to the source material than other projects that you've been involved in. If you need more time to mourn Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia, feel free to check out our full article on cordcutting.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our next video. See ya.